Gerald here again with Deluxe Lifestyle Strategies and thank you for joining me again on my journey, my challenge to spread some education on how to protect, save, and make you money, right? The last episode I went into business strategies, recruiting and retention, and if you missed that, make sure you check out the Deluxe Lifestyle Strategies channel here on YouTube. Today is all about retirement more specifically how to plan and accomplish the retirement that you really truly want even if you feel like you're a little bit behind the ball so to speak so personally I came from a family that didn't talk about money what I was kind of so I was kind of clueless about saving money for my own future I invested a lot of my money and time into businesses and things like that which I thought was going to you know tied and hold me over for my life and stuff and unfortunately not every business does that a lot of people do think that they're going to build a business and that that is going to be their retirement they're going to sell it uh, the statistics are actually pretty low though for how many people create a business run it for years and then sell it as a retirement plan. There are some people who have managed to do that, but not as many as one might think, right? We know, I mean, I think it's pretty common knowledge that most businesses, like a huge percentage of businesses actually fail in the first two years. And then of the few that make it through the first two years, another huge percentage fails within the next three years. So in the first five years of business, many businesses just don't even make it, right? So I had invested all of my money into those types of things, thinking that I was going to build something. And so I never invested in my future. And no one ever actually came to my house and visited me and said, hey, you know, let me teach you how to get moving on a plan so that you will have something for the future. It actually, about three years ago, I was discussing the lack thereof of my retirement with a friend of mine, another business owner who was in the same situation Although he had just recently met someone who that's what they did is they sit down with people and help them devise a plan no matter where they are in life and say, hey, here's a plan and wake up and smell the coffee, right? You need to do this and get started now. I know most of us were uh, told this when we were younger, that if you just start putting away $20 a month when you're 18 years old, by the time you're 65, if you've got it in a good investment vehicle, it's going to be enough for you ret to retire on. Of course, there were some little details that they kind of leave out of that. That's if you get the right investment that grows and doesn't lose any money. Right? Because everyone experienced 2008 and there are very few people that protected all of their investments that they had been growing over the past. And that wasn't actually the first time that that happened. Right? There have been successive recessions, as it were, in the stock market where people lose some of their retirement funds. And then it takes years for those funds to get back up to where they started the loss. And this last one being very good, we've actually had a huge gain. Everyone gained back everything they lost, but it took 10 years for that to happen, right? So I want to make it my goal to make sure that everyone is at least thinking about their retirement. And once that starts, hopefully, you know, a plan starts to take shape hopefully soon. Right? So I want to ask you, what is your plan? A lot of people still today think that the 401k is a plan. Is that your plan? Do you know when it was created? Like way back in late 70s, 1978, the economy was pretty different though at that time. Uh, do you think that that's still the best plan? <laughs> I wonder if you've ever you know, looked into that and actually understand how a 401k functions, who it was created for really, because it wasn't created for employees, it was more created for the employers, right? So you gotta make sure that you understand these things. Uh, makes you wonder when you realize that top executives in companies will only, they 
put the absolute least amount that they have to into their 401k plan because when a corporation offers a 401k, everyone has to participate, including the executives. You can actually search on Google because GE is a public traded company and look at the chart of the top 10 executives, like how much money they made, how much they invested in their 401k, and then there's another column of how much they invested into what's called executive bonus plans. It's a totally different way of saving for retirement. And everyone on that list, they put the absolute minimum in their 401k, and then the numbers in that executive bonus plan are out the roof, maxing out like millions of dollars a year because they know that the 401k isn't actually the best place for them to save their retirement funds. They have to because of the guidelines, but they put everything else into these executive bonus plans. Now you might be saying, well, I'm not an executive at a corporation. I don't have an executive bonus plan, right? What if I could tell you that executive bonus plans were made from something called a life insurance retirement plan, that's how they're structured, and everyone can get one? <laughs> Maybe you might want to be thinking about that. So recently, a revised edition of a book came out called uh, The Power of Zero. I want you guys to take a look at that. A video just came out. I'm going to uh, remember to list that on the on the description here below. Go check out the video. It really talks about the necessity of finding ways to put your money in places that's protected against tax issues because we're about to have some tax issues because our debt is going up in our country and our taxes are at all time low. Where do you think they're going to go from there? Taxes are going to go up. So we want to make sure that people are protecting their money and not paying taxes that they don't need to. So if the 401k isn't a good option, what other options are there? You might be asking. Real estate, obviously everyone's talking about real estate. I live in Florida. Everyone's a realtor down here, I think, because the, the common thread is, if you understand how to do real estate investing, then real estate is a good way to make money. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand that, like the, how it functions. Um, some people have gotten into where they're buying and flipping homes, which is, you know, it's a small income, but you got to have a pretty big capital. You got to have the time to actually refurbish the house, things like that. There's a lot of things involved in that. Um, when you listen to people like Grant Cardone, he says, you know, single family homes, that's not a real estate investment. That's a, that's a time waste, right? Because it takes a lot of time. It ties up your money. He talks about real estate investing as in big investments where you're literally investing in apartment complexes and such like that because everyone always needs a place to live. So no matter how bad our economy gets, people will still find ways to have a home, a place to live. So looking into that side of it. And then, of course, the life insurance retirement plans. Uh, that I just talked about, if you know about them, it's a good place to invest money. But a lot of people don't know anything about them. They've never heard of them. They don't realize that it's something that they have access to now. Yes, back in the past, it used to be a very high barrier to get into a life insurance retirement plan. Nowadays, the companies have lowered that down very low. So it really depends depends on age and health and uh, your budget. Obviously, age and health because it is life insurance, uh, but also your budget as well. So it can be customized to your budget and make sure that it can fit into that. So find an agent who can help you with one of those and learn all about it. You know, find an agent who likes to educate is what I like to say because that's what I'm all about. I like my clients to make educated decisions about where they're putting their money. So I want to make sure that they understand how everything functions and the different companies, the different kinds of bells and whistles that they can get on these types of programs. Uh, listed below in the description, there's another video that is a great resource to go watch. His name is Ed Slot. He is a 
I'm going to call unbiased CPA, and he highly recommends um, Roths and life insurance retirement plans. So go watch that video because, you know, he doesn't make money by selling life insurance in any way, shape, or form, but he totally explains why these are such a good resource and a tool to have in your portfolio as far as a money saving and investing type of vehicle. So the link is is down in the description below. Go click on that. And if you can't, if you're on the podcast, just go to YouTube and search CPA and LIRP, Life Insurance Retirement Plan, and you'll be able to find, he's like the first one that comes up. He's got numerous videos, which are actually all really good resources for understanding your money. So I'd love to hear your thoughts now on how you are planning for your retirement. What rate of return are you getting on your portfolio pieces? And if you feel that you will make it to your goal in time for retirement. In order for us to have a better grasp on our money, we really need to discuss it more, right? I think that's one of the biggest issues with America right now is because people are kind of shy about talking about money. So they really don't understand it very much. They're not out there trying to figure out how it works and where they can get better returns and such. So get in the open, leave a comment below, Let's talk about money, right? Let's talk about, uh, no, that's the wrong song. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching today. Definitely make sure that you don't miss the next episode. Hit the subscribe button below. Next time I'm going to talk about budgeting, right? Only 40% of Americans actually budget their money. 60% don't even know how. So we're going to talk about that because it's a little bit, I think it's a subject, again, that people don't really want to talk about. But those people who aren't using a budget are actually hurting themselves. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and the links are down below as well. So connect with me on one of those places. I always give away fun tidbits on social media that you're not going to see here on YouTube. I hope I have inspired you today with ideas or new thoughts on how to improve your life. Now it's your turn. Go out and inspire someone, and I'll see you next time.